This time on Rat and Cat, I've got a full day to work on the river cabin, and I'm hoping I can get a lot done. Did you just stick up an ant nest? second floor uh, the engineer said a glue lamb needs to go in between each of these with a quarter inch steel metal bracket I think it's about 12 inches here about four inches across here so I have to measure these the angle here and manufacture some brackets to support those and then the other beam is going to go behind me to uh, strengthen the wall for wind load. That's a whole other story. All right. Because I am transporting this, I don't want this to get bumped and I'm manufacturing it at a different location. So I just want to make sure I have the right angle. So I'm going to triple check it. I've got this, this, and I'm going to use an angle on it as well. It's about 64 degrees. I can't get up. I, I keep on feeling like I'm taking one or three steps back for every step forward and uh, went to repair this trailer and the ground was loose and uh, yeah, went ahead and fixed it up and went to the, loaded up the trailer, took it to the dump and uh, the uh, waste disposal area was closed for Easter and the, uh, uh, so was the auto parts store. So now I went and got that part and I come back and and I see that the uh, one of the wires has been sheared here. One of the other wires, and so I have to fix that too. And uh, you know, I've got a lot to be grateful for, though. And it's just uh, taking a lot of time. Well, this cut is taking me forever. It's probably taking me about 30 minutes to about do about 20 inches, maybe 15 inches. And uh, I've had a hard time rounding up quarter inch steel, three inch quarter inch steel, but my dad just dug this out of his shop. He happened to have a 40 inch piece here or so. So that's gonna save me a ton of time. So I'm super excited about that because this is taking forever to, to make this cut. Um, yeah, a lot of shops wouldn't sell me Steel, if I didn't buy a minimum of 120 bucks and or didn't have it, I was really surprised it was hard to find three and a half quarter inch steel or three inch by quarter inch steel. It's uh, it was a surprise, but uh, yeah, so let's just save time. <laughs> I don't think you can see it here, but my saw is smoking. I think I've uh, maybe burned out my motor. It's losing power here. I thought it was maybe the blade being duller, but I think 
I think I got it too hot. Today's been with a, a lot of setbacks. I've actually gotten more done today than I have in quite some time, but I had to run into town to get some, some there wasn't, my dad said he had some so, soapstone, he didn't, uh, so I got this, uh, just a regular pencil, china marker. It's been working though, but uh, I think I burnt out my saw. Uh, what else? Just several different errands and things. <laughs> my mom uh, waylaid me with raviolis uh, and conversation about my dad's back surgery. It was actually great to hear uh, hear what was going on in their lives and stuff. And and uh, but uh, it's hard to resist raviolis. I was really hoping to get through a few more cuts, at least I cut one section off, one piece, and I don't think I'll be able to do that tonight. Shucks. Now the motor on this skill saw is just really, really hot. This is the first time I've used a diamond blade rather than a grinding blade on my skill saw, and I think that that uh, heat is just really transferring through the metal blade into the rest of the saw and just really making it overheat. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try a grinding blade instead and uh, see how that goes. Um, hopefully, it's the motor seems to still be working. I'm hoping once it cools down, maybe it'll get that power back. I don't know. Maybe the, I've already damaged the bearings too much, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I've gotta get all those pieces cut out as soon as I can. In cutting the steel for these clips, uh, I explored several different options for cutting the steel. And there are obviously a lot faster methods. Some of the tools I just don't have access to. Also, using a blade, I thought maybe would leave a little bit cleaner cut up front. Uh, so, not as much grinding later on. Uh, so that's what I'm doing, but what I found with this metal blade, I've never used a diamond blade like this before, but it seemed to really be radiating out the heat, and it started heating up the whole saw way faster than when I've used uh, a grinding blade before. Now, these break down easier, uh, of course, uh, but it seems like it, it didn't heat up my saw like that. My saw actually started smoking a little bit and stuff, so I am uh, going to see how this goes. Switching from this to this. Well, I'm noticing that this blade cuts a lot faster. The grinding blade, it's wider, so it's going through a lot more steel. A little bit of double adjusting, but it's a lot faster. My skill saw was slowing down. It's maybe 15 years old, so I switched to 
uh, Black & Decker saw, which I would think would be lower quality, but it was definitely higher RPMs. And I was able to cut through these pieces of steel, you know, I'd say five to ten times faster. Also make a lot cleaner cuts. This is what I was expecting, really nice clean cuts with just a little bit of metal I'd have to take off the edge. And uh, with the lower RPMs, it's going so slow, really messy edges, and I'm going to have to grind on those first couple cuts. So now I can grind those off, glue, uh, uh, weld these together, glue them together, no, uh, weld them together, and uh, get going on the quarter inch or it's or the angle iron brackets, which are it's really big steel. It's five sixteenths. I couldn't find quarter inch, and it's uh, got uh, galvanized. They're gal it's a galvanized piece of metal, so I'm gonna have to hold my breath in between uh, cuts and uh, I don't have a mask for that so fortunately I'm outside so it's pretty well ventilated. More fun. Alright so I'm cutting this angle iron, this 5 8 inch angle iron. It took me maybe 10 minutes to do this one cut and I've got a, a, the other side still to do here and I have six brackets to make. So uh, it's going to take me a while, uh, uh, but a buddy of my dad's just stopped by and he has a metal angle or a metal bandsaw. He's going to let me borrow on Sunday. So I'm going to wait to do that until then, because I think that'll save me a bundle of time. And i uh, going to head on to start welding these other brackets, uh, sanding them or uh, grinding them down and welding them together. <laughs> First time watching Rat and Cat where we search, survive, and explore. This is kind of the exploration side of the channel. Country living, wilderness living. And uh, I want to put up a couple links for you here. Uh, the first ones to our country living uh, when we lived in Skamania County. Uh, and the second one is to the current project that we're working on right now, which is our, our river cabin river cabin restoration uh, project. So until next time, I'm Nakia, and this is Rat and Cat.